All right, let's get into June's numbers. Who made $13,000 for the month of June? Let's get into it. Hey, 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 y'all. My name is Ebony. I'm the CEO of Ebony's Mobile Notary, the founder of 757 Notary Sisters, the owner-operator of Business Rx, the owner-operator of Boss Events, Breathable Lessons, and she flips. What's up? What's up? Happy Sunday. It is about 9.30 at night when I'm feeling, filming this video, and it is June the 24th. Yeah, I think that's what it is. June 24th, y'all second no yeah it is the 24th because today is monday yeah i said it was sunday it's monday i was just off today that's what it was i've been trying to film this video y'all for days but y'all know what it is it's the end of the month and we are going to recap on what we made from all of our multiple businesses if you are new here welcome if you are true here thank you for staying Please like, share, comment, do whatever you got to do to please run up these YouTube numbers so that people can get this information on multiple streams of income and building your business and just, yeah, we getting this bag, right? So as y'all heard me run down, I own multiple businesses and I work full time. I'm an oncology nurse. So we're going to start from the top. Ebony's Mobile Notary. I did $5,000. I had 14 loan signings and eight apostilles, 40 general notary work. Out of the 14 loan signings, eight came from signing services and five of them were direct. Out of the $5,000 that was made, I made $2,700 and I gave out $2,000. That means I hire other notaries to go out and do the jobs for me. Then we have boss events where I am a wedding officiant and do the photo booth rentals. I rented out my photo booth four times and I had eight weddings. So that wrapped up those eight weddings included the two I just had on Saturday and I don't have any next weekend. So that would wrap up June and I don't have any photo booths next weekend. So I made four thousand four hundred dollars there business rx is where you guys get all the digital products from where i do all like the templates the ebooks the little courses um i only had seven sales and no one-on-one -on -one calls i had one-on-one -on -one calls that was booked in may um and then i had did two free one-on-one -on -one calls so no revenue from one-on-one -on -one calls but I had seven sales and I made $26. Then Breathable Lessons is my CPR business where I'm a CPR instructor and I hold CPR classes. I taught two classes. One of them had five students and the other one had six students. And then I had two people that came individually that needed CPR renewal. So I made $820 with that. So then that brings my total in business to $9,946. And I didn't work any nursing shifts. Remember, I had picked up all those nursing shifts. Baby, I ain't go to none of them. None of them. I canceled them. My bad. But I also work full time. And after taxes and insurance, I might check be the same amount every two weeks. $1,775. So $3,500 from work, which brings a grand total of $13,446 for the month of June. Now, remember, we do got to pay taxes on the $9,946. I got to pay taxes on that. So after taxes, insurances, all my expenses and things like that, then I can go ahead and pay myself. Remember, I got me a new photo booth this month. If you've been following me, you know, I just ordered me a new photo booth for boss events. Um, there were some expenses, but of course, yes. Did I make money? Absolutely. Very grateful, appreciative, like, baby, I made a bag by putting in the work. So you like, hey, I want to do that too. You can do it. I work full time. I am still running these businesses. I'm doing what I got to do to make my bag. Does that mean that I work hard? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
there are days that I don't go to bed until 10, 11 o'clock now. I wake up every day at 5 a.m. I am putting in the work to get the results. Marketing is key. Having a plan is key. I keep saying the same things over and over. You can't just jump into this without having that plan. Have a plan. How many hours are you going to put into your business? What is the amount of money that you are willing to invest in your business? How, how long can you work hard behind the scenes and not be paid for anything? What is going to be your short-term sacrifice for your long-term goals? So I have all of my business broke down in hours. So for my mobile notary business, I only put in 12 hours a week. I'm going to make out my schedule for what time to what time am I adding in those 12 hours a week that I'm back here doing things like email marketing, figuring out when what day I can go for in-person marketing, following up with different signing services, um, making sure that all the bills are paid. But I'm only doing 12 hours a week there. So now, remember, I work a 40-hour work week job, but now I'm at 52 hours because I also got to run my mobile notary business. And remember, when you're in business for yourself, sometimes you it feels like you're working for free, right? It's that short-term sacrifice. Then I have boss events where I've got to do the same things. Like I had to come up with a plan. What am I going to do? Your photo booth is broke. How do we pay? Get another one. What is going to be our strategy to be able to rent out this booth? It's summertime. We got to make sure that we're showcasing our business. Who is your potential client? So for boss events, I do 10 hours a week. Remember, I work a full-time job. So now we're working 40 hours a week plus 12 hours a week in mobile notary, 10 hours a week in boss events. And we still got to keep going. Breathable lessons. Um, I don't really have to do too much for breathable lessons because I'm not really marketing that business right now. I already have one contract that I'm gonna just stick with because I do so many things. I'm not looking to blow that up. Like that's really my side hustle is the CPR business, right? And it's just really a rinse, lather, repeat of everything that I'm doing. I teach the class the same way. I play the same DVD, the same mannequins. And again, I'm not marketing that. But Business Rx, where I sell the digital products, I have to always stay on my toes and figure out what's going to be the next project that I'm going to put out for people to buy. And I'm still working on that. Like, that's why y'all have not had a free digital download. You guys have not had anything because I'm not getting a lot of feedback saying that you guys need anything for your business. Most times the things that people need is a plan. Stop taking all these course, 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 course. Like, I'm not saying don't take a course. Take a course for your craft, but you don't have to take 80 notary courses. Find that person that you want to follow and go with their stuff. If their things and their ideas have been giving you return on your investment, go with them. Like I tell people, I'm not the best mentor, the best coach, or have all the information. So many other people out here. Find that person that resonates with you and go with that, right? If they fall into your budget and they can provide you with the help that you need, absolutely. Like I said, I keep running into people that go, oh, I don't do social media. So what you're looking for, a social media manager? Because don't think that I was getting ready to do my social media and your social media. Right? So figure that part out. You got to be able to figure that part out, at least on your own. Right? And then, of course... Um, with me working again i love my job it's very very easy um i'm getting more comfortable with doing the ivs and yeah we're doing our damn thing and you guys remember that i told y'all for the month of july that i didn't want to work too much and i got it i'm not working too too much like um even though we're still in june i was on vacation today i go back to work the rest of this week and then after that, I only go back to work three days, then I'm off four days. I go back to work like six days, then I'm off like six days. So I got to do what I wanted to do, which was I didn't want to really work too, too much. I think I only have one wedding, and that's like at the end of July. I did have somebody inquire, but they didn't get back with me. Um, but like I wanted to keep July light like i wanted to enjoy myself i'm going to go see my best friend um just bought that airplane ticket and yeah like we just 
chilling and then august i'm gonna be back like oh okay i gotta go hard for my business right and that was my short-term sacrifice for my long-term term goal was that i wanted to be really kind of off and just kind of do whatever i wanted to do for july so that was me hunkering down and not spending money and just trying to get things in order to make my bill my business grow so again what are you doing to make your business grow like i say in-person marketing direct marketing to title companies um your realtors your mortgage loan officers those kind of things sending out those emails making sure that your google business page is up to date i have been getting so many calls for apostilles i got so many documents out right now baby my little sheet of me waiting on documents to come in is crazy i done sent documents to texas alabama florida virginia just sent out some more documents today so if you've not added the apostille services to your business you need to and for all y'all notaries that keep calling me and letting me take that money out of your hand is crazy i've had three notaries hit me up oh can you do this apostille and i just don't know what to do i got your class i got your ebook but i don't know what to do did you watch the course no did you read the book no and you sure you don't want to do the past all right cool go on ahead I, I ain't gonna argue you down because i say i'll walk you through it no 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 go on ahead go i don't i don't want to mess it up keep on keep on because well, i i can't convince you to get your bag but if you want to give me your bag <laughs> let's do it i done made over a thousand dollars because these notaries keep calling and saying that they don't want to they don't feel comfortable but they done took a million and one classes including mine but you wasn't paying attention had to be because we all saying the same thing doing these apostilles are not hard all you got to do is talk it out talk it out out loud i've talked it out before the one um let's see the one that i sent out today the people um the dad is traveling with the children without the mom to germany so they needed a travel consent form what did i do i went i notarized the travel consent form then i sent that document to the secretary of state the Secretary of State will authenticate it, and they're authenticating the notarization. And then, then the document will come back to me. Once I get the document back, I'm gonna drop it off. The shipping labels was $40 each way. It was two documents. I charged $400 for my services, $80 for the shipping labels. What was hard? What was hard? I'm literally waiting on the mailman. And actually the FedEx. That's it. That's it. I did a death certificate. The person lives in California. They sent me, well, the person that needs the death certificate authenticated lives in California. The person died in Virginia. They sent me the death certificate. We know as notaries that vital records aren't notarized. So what did I do with that death certificate? I put it in the envelope. I sent it to the Secretary of State. They sent it back with the authentication seal on it. I overnighted it back to the client in California. Come on now. Come on now. Easy peasy money stop being scared get that education you already paid for it because you didn't took 101 classes so go pull up your education if you like you afraid to do loan signings same thing in my mock signing don't i do the signing with you and provide you with the documents i'm sure a whole bunch of people do the same go review it go sign up for the signing services get the signing execute it 
and go. If you wanted to be a wedding officiant and you live in one of the other states other than Virginia, or either it came with your commission, figure out your plan. Who's your target audience? If you live in Virginia, do the steps for Virginia. I wrote the ebook. I made the class. Go and do what you know. Do what you know. The money is out here. If you want to be a CPR instructor, go take the course. Market that CPR instructor. Who needs CPR? Who is your potential client? How are they going to find out that you exist? How much are you going to charge? Go look up and see how much CPR cards or renewal classes are around you. Go with that. Do that. It's too much money out here to be made for us to still be scared. Yo, being a notary makes a bag. Being a wedding officiant and rent out that photo booth makes a bag. Being a CPR instructor makes a bag. Doing the digital products makes a wallet. But we take wallets too. We take wallets too, right? We show sure enough do. But y'all, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm not sleepy. That's the only reason why I'm up. Um, I cooked. It was nasty. I'm not eating it. Um, yeah, my daughter's clothes are still all over this house. If you saw my TikTok, I fell out of my favorite chair and now I am being forced to buy patio furniture. And I just don't want to check out because I'm cheap. I'm so cheap. I'm like, I can't be spending. I'm going out of town. But we are going to get some patio furniture because I may as well let my balcony be cute. It's summertime now. We got to be cute outside. But all right, y'all, I hope this video helps somebody. Like I said, I broke down everything that I made. Um, it was definitely a good month and I'm very, very grateful. So again, my hard work is paying off. Um, I'm showing y'all, I'm giving out all the information. The one-on-one -on -one calls are still available they just not on sale and everything in the store is still available and surprisingly enough it's actually still on sale i meant to move the prices up i'll probably do that tomorrow i gave out a purchase for tomorrow and i gave out um two purchases actually one of them is a timeshare purchase and then the other one is somebody buying a house in florida and i gave them both out i could have done them both too i don't feel like it I did long signings all weekend long. I did general notary work. I did estate planning. I don't want to stamp another thing. So what I'm going to do is I gave them out. So my notary buddies or anybody who I can find, um, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Um, and I even gave out a, a general notary work in Texas. And I'm all the way in Virginia. But it was my direct client. I sent him notaries all the time. And he always called me and we do the damn thing. So that is amazing. Um, yeah, get out of here and get this back. It's, it's an amazing thing. Bye.